Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sarah the Koala and today we're going to be talking about weapons. How to find them, fuse them, calibrate them, repair them, you name it, we got it, let's get into it. So weapons can be found through drops from enemies, things like that. You can also find blueprints from like mystical crates and from other drops and enemies and things like that as well. Prime example is just here, I've just defeated that big balloon monster and now I've gone into the mystical crate and boom, I've just got myself a couple of blueprints. So once you've got your blueprints, what on earth do you do with them? You might be noticing that they're in your inventory under the blueprints tab and you're not quite sure on your next move. So let's head home and let's see what we can do about this. So if we jump into our inventory and then into the blueprints tab, you'll see in here we've got a whole bunch of tabs here so we can look at specific types of weapons, so shotguns, and there you can see actually I've got one that I can fuse. It's got the orange kind of puzzle icon on the top right of it there. Now we can stare at this all day long if we like to, however you can see here the fire rate, the damage, how many magazines it will hold, things like that. Then when you're ready to fuse that blueprint into something you can actually use, hold down the F button and a little signal will come up at the top there for you, let you know you have fused that blueprint successfully. So now that we have a blueprint fused, why don't we jump into our advanced gear workbench over here and actually start to make the item or the weapon. This isn't just used for weapons, you can click on the tab and actually use this for armour as well. So let's talk about that shotgun blueprint we just fused. So here you can see it inside and we can see what tier. So if we want tier one through down to five, depending on your works bench, depending on how far you progressed, it will tell you obviously you get better effects, higher damage, and it does tell you there how much it costs. So if you put in the crafting materials as I've done here, and then you press F down to confirm building of that item, you will generate and create your weapon. You can equip this straight away from here as a primary or secondary weapon, but if you press escape, it'll take you straight out into the menu again. So let's talk more about this shotgun. Now, if you didn't equip it straight away, you can equip it in your gear item menu here. As you can see, I can just right click it and I can equip it. Now you can see they've all got a number on them, which explains about the rate or the rating of that item. Now, if you wanna go into it more further or raise that rating, you can right click on the item and you can add a mod to it to enhance it to make it a bit stronger. So there's a whole bunch of different mods in there. We'll talk about them in a bit anyway, but if you equipped a different one, you can. You can see as well about all the enhancements and how strong that mod is, because you can enhance your mods as well. Not only that, you've got the accessory tab. So if you wanna add muzzles, optics, tactics, or even change the ammo from say copper to steel or tungsten, whatever else, this is where you go ahead and do it. And for a little bit of fun, you also have the cosmetics tab. So if you do want to change your skin, if you've bought any new skins or won any new skins, that's where you can add them. Same with stickers, you can go into them, you can equip them or quick equip them by holding down F. And then you've got a cute little teddy bear on your gun. That's adorable. Lastly, you do also have charms. So if you want like a little bee or any other charms that you might have won or bought, you can also add them to your guns. So let's talk about enhancing our blueprints to make even stronger weapons. So here you can see I've jumped into my blueprint menu and I'm going to go down to my wrench. Now, if I right click it, I'll be able to go into that in more depth. And I can see on the top right the enhancements. It's level one. I want it to go to level two. Now, if I right click onto the blueprint fragment on the right, I can then click through any other fragments or any other blueprints that I have available. And as you can see, combined with the wrench and the pistol, I can actually enhance this blueprint. So to enhance it again, I have to click enough of them in order to do that. So as long as I've clicked them, hold down the F to enhance this. I will then enhance this blueprint, making it even stronger when I want to build it. Now this only works for the things after the fact. So once I've enhanced the blueprint and then made the item, that's how it will be stronger. Repairing your items. You are going to get wear and tear. The more you use them, the more it will be. So if you go into your workbench and go to the repair tab, you'll see how much it's going to cost to repair the things. Now it's not just your weapons. It's also your armor as well that's going to need repairing from time to time. So make sure you're checking this at a regular basis, clicking, pressing F and holding that down to confirm the repairing of your items. If they drop times, however, and you don't own them, you will not be able to repair them. Calibration, another way to make them even stronger. So again, at your workbench, if you go into the calibration menu there, you can select your items, your weapons or your armor. And you can see that if you calibrate it and there it's showing you in the green letters what it's going to enhance for you. You can also see there with material consumptions, etc. as well, how much it's going to cost you. So if I go back here, you can see the material consumptions, some ores and all that kind of stuff. And I have to press down the F to confirm. Now it's gonna take some star link as well and these can be get pretty expensive. So only calibrate what you need. So again, this isn't just on weapons. You can also do this on items should you want to calibrate them as well, making them even stronger to withhold more pollution, making your weapons even stronger so they last longer and obviously they hit harder. 
Mods are a great way to enhance not only your weapons but also your armor. So if you do go into your inventory and go to your mods tab, you'll see a whole list of all your mods in here from weapon mods, all different categories. As well as your armor mods as well so you can click through them and have a little look and see what you've got now you can enhance them by clicking them and as you can see it takes some star link and some mod items as well hold down f and you have enhanced them further once you enhance them you'll be able to see what level you're at and you'll be able to see what is the new enhancement doing so is it doing better for your elite enemies or for your uh, great ones things like that so getting mod parts is actually relatively easy, mod and armor parts I should say. You go to your disassembly bench just like you normally would to scrap all of your kind of items that you've looted along the way. Same with like any tools and items, weapons, you name it. If you need to disassemble them, you go to your disassembly bench. Now it's the same thing here if you look on the very far right tab at the top of that screen, that's actually your mods tab. And so in there you can look through all of your gear and weapon mods here. And it's just a simple case of clicking on the ones that you don't want anymore. So I tend to go for like my lower level ones. Now be careful, you can disassemble the ones that you've got equipped. Just look for that little E at the top right of the little box to tell you what ones you're using. As you see there, I've disassembled them and I've got X amount of weapon and armor mods so that I can then use them to enhance my mods later on if I need to. And there you have it, a very quick tutorial about how you get your weapons, how you enhance them, mod them, you name it. Hopefully I've covered it. Do let me know if you need anything else in the comments. Maybe like and subscribe if you can. I've been Sarah the Koala and thanks for watching.